hello and welcome back in another beam ng video so in this video as you uh, as you already saw on the on the name of the video we will we will be going drag racing and basically if you want to go drag racing there are a lot of a lot of maps or a lot of places if you want to go in the game for drag racing basically you can go if you want a real drag racing track you can go uh, what is it to the west coast you can see a drag strip over here or you can go i don't know because some people told me in Utah, USA, actually, there is some kind of uh, a drag strip here. I actually, to be honest, I never actually visited before, but they told me you can drag it over there. Also, you can go on this big grid map here. Uh, the small island, no, of course not. It's a, it's a very uh, tight. They are, the, all, all of the roads are here are, are so tight and so bendy. No, the east coast. Uh, there is some kind of highway. I think you can go there. But to be honest, like the one that I really like is the, on the west coast here, the USA, because because it's a true drag racing strip. And yeah, this is a car jump arena. So as you can see, if you want to do like crazy stunts, uh, like uh, falling falling off the stairs, or uh, as you can see, a, a pit lane, some kind of down bridge or a parking lot, you can go crazy here. But no, today. These will be like in some some other video, but today we will be going drag racing. No, not on the grid, on the West Coast, USA. So this is the the map. It's a very very awesome map, and they're very very good drag racing strip. But unfortunately, no, the the tree or the the starting light, no, it will not light, and uh, there is no timing. It's just you by yourself having fun tuning your car to make it uh, you know, more drag racing ready. There are some current ready cars, ready drag racing cars that you can actually uh, drive already for drag racing. Like uh, if you want to spawn a car, go to vehicles. Like for example, this the Burnside Special. There is a drag racing version. This one comes with the same with the same V supercharged V8 as as the others. As other drag racing cars, like oh, yes, this is a modded actually. This is this car doesn't come with the game. I downloaded this Toyota Supra from the Steam Workshop as a mod, and yes, there's a drag drag race version of it. It's really awesome, and also I no, this is not. I don't think this is ha this car has a drag racing version, but basically yes, this one the gravel the gravel burst tow. There is a drag racing version. This one, the drag, the same supercharged V8, and and also this one, the Moonhawk, the Brackel Moonhawk, whatever the name of it, also comes with a, a drag racing version. All of them with the same engine, all of them with the same, some some sort of performance. Uh, but in this video today, we will we will be trying to create our own drag racing vehicles from from other from other vehicles. So, but before we start creating any crazy things, let's start and try the current drag racers here in, in, in Beam NG. So, this is how it looks. You have the supercharged V8 up front. This is how it looks from the inside. Really, really cool. And this is how it will sound. Let me raise the volume. It sounds really, really awesome, actually. All right. So let's start uh, driving this beast here and see what's what. So actually we have a line lock. You need to press Control, Alt and Space. As you can see, line lock is enabled. Let's try and do some burnouts. Uh, all right. Perfect. All right, so tires should be warm. But unfortunately, I cannot I cannot burn out burn the tires so much because the engine will get overheated quickly. All right. Whoa, ho, wheelie. A quick machine. And as you can see, overheating. All right, so let's have a crash now. I like to see this, these cars like at 318 kilometers per hour. As you can see, we can crash. All right, so I slowed the time too much. Let me fast it up. All right, and now let me see. Let's see the front bumper. Wow, the front itself got destroyed. All right, touch. Now we 
are flipping turn off the engine by pressing V all right slow the time you can slow the time by alt and left arrow Not really dramatic, but it's a it's a big crash actually. Yes, and that's the final result. The engine can still run actually. No, no, the engine is locked up. Sorry, the engine cannot run right now. I, I didn't notice the the red on the engine. So this is the performance of the car. It can can do really easily. Let's try again. Try again. Whoa, wheelie. Alright, now let's try and slow the time. There you go, slow the time like to 16. Build up the revs. I know it will take a little time and slam drive. Here we go. Come on, give me a wheelie. Come on, hook up. And we have a liftoff. Yes, a wheelie, a liftoff. That is really, really awesome. And yes, I'm turning left, although the tires are not touching the ground because we will hit the, the wall. But either way, we achieved a wheelie. That's really awesome. A wheelie is always awesome. Alright, so let's try another drag racing vehicle, see if we can hit like a higher wheelie or something. This one, the Moonhawk. This is the drag racing version of it. As you can see, it looks... Um, we have like a real spoiler, a spoiler or something. Let's see. Alright, we are shooting flames here. That's what I call an, a brutal engine. Let's try warm up the tires, go back a little bit. Engaging line lock and... Done. Alright, here we go. Neutral, disable line lock, set up the camera. Let's line up the car perfectly. Yep. All right. Not so much good, actually. As you can see, the engine will, the engine temperature is rising and rising and rising, and temperature light is, is on. Ooh. Yep. Again. Now let's try full speed. Whoa. Three. Maybe yes? No, no tree. So as you can see the crashes are very dramatic. Wow. Check out the gearbox. Oh, and the engine actually it can run. But there is no oil, the engine is smoking. If you want to blow the engine, you can blow it actually, because it will starve, because it will starve on oil, and as you can see, it's upside down. So the the, the water and the oil will mix together, and it, as you can see, it's smoking like a choo-choo train, and the temperature is off the scale, and as it's, it says here, oil overheating, and the engine died. Yep. Alright, so the engine is dead. I'm not gonna try again. Let's try and do a wheelie in a slow in a slow motion. Slow the time to 16 and build up the revs. Come on, as you can see the boost is building and come on, give me a wheelie. Oh check out the exhaust blowing flames. Absolutely magnificent. Come on, give me a wheelie. Hook up, hook up, come on! Whoa! Yes, that's my friend is a liftoff. But as always, we are going to the wall 
put hard. Yes, I'm turning left for no reason. It's all right. Let's try again. Oh my god, actually that's cool. I, I When I engage D or drive, I, I pressed it again and I engaged the second gear and that made it to hook up and actually do a, a big wheelie. Let's try again. Whoa! Second gear is the answer. <laughs> and the brakes are so powerful in the front. Not so much. We need to spin the wheels. Just like this. Alright, so let's try it again. Slow motion this time. We need to go like in the front like this. Slow the time to 16. Build up the revs, like fully on 7000 RPM or 6000 something. Come on, build up the revs and drive. Alright, the wheels are spinning. Put second gear now. It should hook up. Alright, and it did hook up. As you can see, we have liftoff. Whoa, check out the power. The, the grip from the wheel tires now makes the front wheels to rise. And as always, we are heading into the wall. Alright, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright, so let's try another vehicle. As you can see, it's everything is perfect, but this one, the Burnside Special, there is a drag racing version of it, but it's it's heavy. It actually it doesn't need it does not require the wheelie bars at the back because it will not do a wheelie. Like because it's super heavy. Really, really heavy. Let me show you how. It's actually it can do a wheelie, but not a super wheelie, like it doesn't need wheelie bars to stop it from rolling or to destroy itself. As you can see, yeah, it can do a small wheelie. Looks very luxurious actually, from the inside. A dramatic crash indeed. Let's see what will happen. Come on, yep, now. Goodbye, classic. Nice knowing you. So the engine is still intact. Wow. Pretty much a wreck. A wreck indeed. And the engine can still run, look. And they, we have a drive shaft. Donut. Crashing donut. Alright, so this fun time is over. As you can see, the car is really good. Let's try and see the wheelie in slow motion. Slowing the time to 6, 8. Okay, let's try 8. Build up the revs and drop the gear. Second gear. There's no second gear. Let's try again. There is no second gear actually, only drive. So let's see the wheelie. Yep, we have a lift off. A tiny, tiny lift off. That's cool, that's cool. It's still a lift off, still a wheelie. Really impressive. Alright, so let's select. Now let's try. Uh, a better drag racing car. Like drag racers, all, they all should have a V8, but I think, no, the most important thing in a drag racing car is to achieve the least or the quickest time ever. And I think this one can do the job, really, because this, this car can accelerate really hard because it's a four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive with a, with a massive turbocharged engine. Let me show you. So 
as you can as you saw the car can actually achieve very very good speed but um okay acceleration Right, dramatic accident. Three. God. The engine can still run, actually. It can drive, actually. Let's try again. No ABS. No ABS. What a, what a rubbish brakes. I hate cars without ABS. As you can see, because of the turbo lag, look. Nothing, nothing, and now. Let's crash now. As you can see, we are heading into the Christmas tree or the tree, whatever they call it. Goodbye, front splitter. Whoa, check out this deadly accident like it's straight into the driver. Wow, deadly and deadly indeed. And we have a fire, of course. Of the, because of the fuel tank. Let's let's turn it off. Extinguish. Yep. So that's that. Okay, so now let's try and build our own car. Let's try with a crappy car. Like, what's the crappiest car? I think this one, the, I the Ibishu Corvette, and we also have this one, the Ibishu Mir M Miramar, whatever the hell of the name of it. We can try this, the Ibishu, but this one, no, this is not much options you can go with. Ah, uh, which one? The Gravel Roamer. Okay, so let's try with this one, the Ibishu Corvette. It's rubbish. It should actually be a crappy car. And actually, there is a crappy version of it. Let me show you. The Ibishu Corvette. It's called the Beater. And the Beater is a blown engine. Basically, a blown engine that is burning oil with a just a rubbish car in basically every, every possible way. And there is no rev limiter, so you can actually blow the engine if you want. Smoke, 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 choo-choo train all the way. Still 100, 100 kilometers per hour. As you can see, it's a beater. It's a beater engine. There's nothing to do with it. And yep. All right. So let's tweak the engine. You can tweak it from here. Configure vehicle. You can go to the. Uh, as you can see, you have the body. Everything basically like a body kit. No, we we won't do anything crazy. Rear seats. Don't need that. Passenger seat, the same idea. Don't need that. And uh, let's see, radiator, high performance radiator. Well, not now. Tow hitch, we're breaking. No, we don't need none of this. All right, so let's go to the. Where's the engine? Engine. We have a blown 1.5 liter single overhead cam, four-cylinder engine, stock ECU. We can put a better ECU, the ZXI. 
the block, same one, exhaust, we can, let's put an SS exhaust, yes, on a blown engine carburetor, let's keep the carburetor for now, and yes, let's put some nitrous and see if we can actually make the engine to hold some nitrous oxide, so 10, 10 pound bottle, 50 kilowatt shot, let's see what's what, a better exhaust, so we have a better exhaust and a better ECU. on build up the revs actually the engine can achieve its peak torque and power very early like let's see yes below 6,000 below 6,000 so uh, all right so no I cannot actually put push a lot of nitrous in because the engine will explode oh my god over torque risk it will explode ready steady it will explode any minute I guess. Oh my god, I hit the sound of explosion. It actually survived. So it actually survived, so let's try what happened. Fire? Let's blow up the engine. Sorry about that. Pushing nitrous in, come on. Give me more. 170, that's awesome. 170 kilometers per hour. Brakes. Yep, survived the jump. A beater car indeed. Let's go back. Nitrous, all the way. Nitrous. Come on. Temperature is rising. 170, come on, give me 180. 180, come on, let's crash. Give me 190. Impossible. Alright, so let's crash this beater before we tweak it. Alright, don't worry, no one will cry on you. Alright, so we, we we made all of these modifications, now let's go and add more and more things on it. So go back to the engine, stock long, okay, so let's add now fuel injection. See if it will make any difference. How about, uh, so, we have, so we have four speed manual transmission, let's tweak it. We have an open differential. Oh, no, I'm not going to put a limited slip. I'm going to put an ultralight flywheel. It will build up the revs even higher. No, no, sorry, it will make the engine to spin quicker. Head gasket damage. Alright, so... Oh, it's already blown. As you can see, even, even when I reset, I'm, I'm pressing reset, the head gasket is blown. Over torque, pushing nitrous in. Come on, build up the revs. Fuel injection, fuel injection, not carburetor. Oh my god, that was scary. The engine blown. Yep, the engine did blow up. All right, it's okay. We can actually tweak it. The engine did blow up and that was scary like I need I, I truly jumped out of my seat because the sound <sighs> the stock long block which is rubbish let's try stage 2 performance if not we'll go with the don't blow up don't blow up. Come on, 170. Come on, give me 180. 180. Give me 190. Come on, 190. 190. Ooh. So we have achieved 190 on the last minute. All 
right. Car is on fire. It's okay. Now let's let's go crazy and bolt on a turbocharger. I'm not kidding. A turbocharger on a blown engine. I'm not, I'm not gonna go crazy. Like let's start with stage one turbocharger, which is the the smallest and the efficient one. Turbo and nitrous together on a blown engine. Oh my god, turbocharger, turbocharger overheating. Try again. Come on, build up the revs. Try again. Turbocharger overheating. A Chinese turbocharger, crappy one. Come on, give me 200, 200. So that's that with a turbocharger then. As you can see, a car can, can achieve actually very very good high speed. It's not bad actually. Really really not bad. Now, I want... I want to add stage 2 turbocharger, which is a proper turbocharger. Yes, that should be interesting. If the engine can hold. Actually, the engine can hold because it's a stage 2 performance. I want to try something after this. Yes, the engine can hold. Turbocharger overheating. try if the car of, or if the stock engine can actually or the stock block if it can actually hold uh, on the stage 2 on the stage 2 turbo let's try and see if it, if it can actually hold head gasket damage okay come on blow up no nitrous only boost on the stock engine Nitrous! Oh my god, full blow. Let's blow it up, I don't care. Blow! Come on! Yes, it did blow. Try again, no. No nitrous, only a turbo. Only boost on the stock crappy engine. Come on! Bend up the rails, come on. What a stupid engine. 10 psi of boost into a blown engine. One seventy. That's that's proper. All right. So the car did actually, or the engine did actually survive, but without any kind of nitrous. Yeah, I don't know if the video is boring for you or not, but. It's actually it's actually quite fun. I like tw tweaking the car so much. Let's try and with a stock block, stock rubbish block, a stage three variable boost, which is the most brutal one. And it's the same block. Let's go with the GT exhaust because it's better than SS. And let's go with five speed manual gearbox. Not racing one, but Oh my god, the engine will blow, will blow. Come on, blow up. 12 psi of boost on a rubbish engine. No nitrous.
it didn't blow. And we achieved very very good speed, but the engine is gonna blow like any minute. If you want to blow it. Yep, like that. I wanted to blow it because I want to change it. Let's change it into a proper engine. Well, actually, we can keep the smoke. If you like the smoke, uh, if you like the smoke, the smoky, smoky, tasty feeling, you can actually keep it. 1.5 blown. We can select the stage true performance. We can go with a proper racing ECU. Proper racing manual gearbox. Let's see, a proper limited slip differential. And see what's what. Nitrous. So what did we actually forget to do is change the radiator. The radiator the engine got the engine got overheating quickly. And now I want to try something different. The guys on on the uh, on the on the snapshot on the snapshot group and also on the on the comment section they told me remove everything except the engine. How can I do that? Front bumper. Alright, so no need for front bumper. No need for rear bumper. Remove the doors. Front fascia. Whatever does it mean. Alright, so the car is actually... No hood, of course. No. We have carbon fiber hood, but come on, it's a beater car. Tailgate, no need for it. Fenders, no need. No need for another fender. Suspension, alright, so let's tweak the suspension a little bit. No, not blown front struts, let's put on racing front coilovers because they are lighter and. No, no need for sway bars, spindles. Front brakes, okay, racing front brakes, because they are much lighter. Steering, quick ratio, no need. Empty, no steering, can it actually work? That's three, let's see, will it actually work? Alright, so no steering, no steering box. Oh! No, it will not work without steering. We need steering. Okay, so steering, front suspension, steering. Okay, so regular steering. <sighs> All right, front suspension done. Rear suspension, race. Where is it? Race uh, coilovers. Racing brakes. Steering wheel, we need the driver's seat, or we need it of course, high performance radiator, glass, no glass. So nothing. Old and weather, rally, whatever, driving school, alright, license plate, nothing. Alright, so the car is now done, nothing is on it, only the, bo there's, there's a door. I want to remove the door, come on. I don't need doors. Where's the door? Front right door. Where's the front left door? Where is it? Passenger seat? No. Ah, here we go. Front left door. And no horn. I don't want any kind of... Wait. 
interior I don't want interior black interior I don't care let's see if you can actually get faster yes it's much quicker much 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 quicker wow it's really really quick and only the body and the chassis and the wheels turn off the engine oh my goodness the fuel tank Do a little burnout. That's awesome. All right, so one last thing is, of course, let's uh, let's put on a different engine, a better engine indeed. So we have this blown one. Let's put a regular. Let's go with a dual overhead camshaft, four-cylinder engine. All right, stage two GT exhaust, stage three variable. All right, everything is perfect except the adjustable racing limited sub differential. Auto like perfect. So we have a proper racing engine. Alright, so the, the top speed will remain the same, of course, because the transmission is still the same. So, front brake base, max brake torque, the chassis, the fuel volume will... Let me set it on live. Update, here we go. So, the fuel... Yes, we, know, we don't need so much fuel because it will be... A lot of weight, so I'm gonna put like a five liters only. That's perfect. Alright, differential. It says the axle gear ratio 4.4. Let's set it to let's say 3.3.8. The power lock ratio 30%. Cross lock ratio. I'm not actually an expert here. The preload torque. Hmm, nothing. So they cut Alright, so the maximum RPM. I don't know when the engine will actually explode. Let's try 6800. The waste gate, or oh, that's how I like it. Let's give me 15 psi of boost. Hopefully, the engine can hold. Hopefully. Mm, no, I'm not gonna engage nitrous. Uh, Nitrous will be engaged as I'm telling it. So spring rate, all right. I don't care about these transmission. All right, transmission. Should we go torque manipulation ratio? 
let's go with 3.6 and second ratio see if it can actually do any kind of difference with top speed come on fifth speed no nope. yes did it actually Wheel alignment. So, I'm not actually an expert, but let's see what's what. Alright, so a lot of boost is going in. It's actually rubbish. Oh, we should go the other way. We should go the other way. I'm not actually an expert in tuning, so don't chew my head off. Like so let's go the the other way around, which is let's go to all right. Perfect. Apply. Hopefully. The engine will explode if I put any kind of nitrous in because of the boost. Don't explode, don't explode. Two sixty. Fuel light, come on. And we achieved the higher jump. Alright, so now I know the I know the correct if I want a good top speed. This is too much I think. And this is this. Let's go to one point thirteen, one point eight, four point eight hundred and no, seven two. This should be oh five. Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. Not explode, not explode. God, do explode any minute. I hate the sound so much. Because we have so much boost going in. Where's the boost? Waste gate pressure. Let's go to 12 psi. Apply. Yes, I don't want to blow it off. And the ratios, I don't like them. So this is too much. All right, let's try now. God. Don't blow up. Two sixty. All right, so two sixty. I still don't really like it. It's rubbish, actually. And yeah, I want to tweak it to a good speed. Yes. See if it can actually do any better. 
And now let's go to the parts and I, I, I want to adjust the nitrous oxide. The, the nitrous oxide is injecting so much. Come on, open up. 50? 50 kilowatts of shot and it's making the engine to explode. Adjustable shot size. Alright, let's go to the adjusting and where is the nitrous? Here we go. Added power. No, not 75. Let's go to 40. 40. Spectacular. So as you can see, you can do a lot of crazy things in the game. Let me show you the Toyota Supra because I'm sure a lot of you guys are itching to see it. So here it is. Here it is. Here is the legendary 2JZ engine, I think, yeah. But with a single turbo here. Let me show you. It's actually a single turbo, not, not a twin turbo. Tube drift chassis. Cargo in the body, as you can see, glove box, handbrake. Hydro handbrake, interior carpet, no. Anti-locking wheel bar, traction control, no. Fuel tank and drift chassis, gas cap, glass, no need for glass. Left headlights, no need for headlights. Let's uh, go crazy here. Hood, carbon hood, no. No hood. Twin, twin high performance radiators. Perfect. Perfect, right? The engine is a 3.0 line 6 Daddy exhaust, as they call it. Stage 3 variable boost. As you can, as you can actually put twin turbocharging, but this is actually more powerful. Uh, independent tailgate. So this is actually how it looks. As you can see, a single turbocharger. So yeah, that's the game basically. If you wanted to go drag racing, that's like these are all your only options. This is, I think, this is like this car right now. It's like a Subaru, I think, a Subaru Impreza, something like this. Yes, they have like it's very very close to it. This one with a, this is a dual clutch transmission. It's actually quick. It's not rubbish actually. That was 
designed to go uh, track racing, not drag racing. A lot of mods for the gearbox. Wow, and there's no anti-lock braking. Break. Oh, brakes, rubbish. So this is basically the test track in the game here, or in this map. It's a really really fun game, really really fun. Whoops. So you see, uh, I know this has been a long video, I showed you like how to tune a car, how to tweak it, how to change parts and everything, and yes you can enjoy it, you can have fun in a lot of maps. So this is the West Coast USA map, so you can go drag racing, track racing, you can go to the city actually. Uh, yes, there is a city you can drive in, uh, let me show you, this is West Coast USA, you can go to the industrial arena, Chinatown, let's go to Chinatown, let me show you what comes really in Chinatown, because it's a really, really, really big map. You can go, you can go driving like non-stop all the way, which is really, really fun. I mean, you can see the city. I mean, the details of the maps are incredible, especially the Utah. The Utah map in the desert, you can actually enjoy it. Really, really, you can see the scenery. You can see the, uh, the rocks, everything. Now, we are right now in Chinatown, in the city. There is an actual, like really really good city you can hear actually the birds singing I'm not gonna stop for, for, the, for the signal I'm not gonna stop here it's really really fun Let, let's be a safe driver indicating turn signal Turn space, turn circles, very good. So you can see there's a there are good things to do. Jump. Come on, let's jump. Woohoo, yes. Slow the time. Whoops. Sorry company. Should should we get suicidal and jump into the sea? We can actually. It's closed. But if you want, we can jump somewhere else. Come on, turn. Rear bumper came off. So you can see, look, check out the map. The map is actually a very, very good and big map. Check out the beach, the, the, the houses. The map is really, really amazing. 
it's a, a, a really really detailed map as you can see it's closed they closed it here and they made it to look like uh, like, like an industrial work, workforce air, area will it blow up like will, will it blow up like Grand Theft Auto let's see Suicidal. Nope, it will not blow up. Radiator is leaking, no one cares. So, actually, this is a dependable car. Actually, it will keep on driving and driving and driving non stop until you hit it with a wall. And yes, now it will, it locked up. And the park isn't working. So you see, it's a really, really amazing game. I'm really happy that I always play the game so much because you can explore a lot of places. And I promise you, in the next video, I'm going to go to Utah and we can do some rock crawling over there. We can build like a rock crawling vehicle and we can have so much fun. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. I know it's been a very, very, very long video, but we had so much fun. We experienced wheelies, uh, drag racing, burnouts, crashes, a lot of crashes, and we experienced some crappy tuning done by me so yes don't tune your car <laughs> if I was if I want if I'm gonna tune your car just go to someone else someone more experienced but I had so much fun and I hope that you had so much fun and I hope that you can buy the game and you, so you can experience everything it's really really big and it's really really awesome and I really cannot wait for the for the future update between a automation game and beam and G so thank you so much for watching and good luck for everyone and good luck for all of one for, for everyone, anyone that's just by the game and enjoying it because it's really worth it. So thank you so much for watching and goodbye for now, my friends.